Right. I don't know how to play this. Regions, medals, credits. What's regions? Central Europe and Southern Europe. Oh, you can down different regions from the cloud. Look at that. South America, Northern Europe. I think we should pull Northern Europe down. <clears throat> Central America's a bit weird. What's that? That looks nothing like Central America. Oh, hang on. No, it does. It's the it's the bit between North and South, isn't it? It's the that's the Panama area, like Cuba and stuff. Random. No, I like our North America. How many bus management do you need up here? Like, was it Greenland or something? But yeah, that does look weird the way it's drawn out. Devil Lad, thank you for 60 months, five five years, yeah, 60 months. Giacomo, thank you for 19. Uh Tom H, 26 months. Thank you, Tom. Uh K Dave, three months. How was your bread making, Paul, during your break? I posted a picture of the loaf I made on Instagram. It was very nice and very tasty. Lovely and golden brown on the outside. It was uh, it was really good. Cutting it, never easy with fresh bread. That's only just downloaded, look. North America, our buses never come on time. <laughs> the UK's not that different. Right. I don't know why... Oh, I don't have continue. I was going to say. New game. Central Europe. Central Europe. Austria. Come on, let's go to Great Britain. We'll make all the buses run badly so it'll feel very, very real. Postal code. Um, Chelmsford? Chelmsford would be like... We'll just put Chelmsford in. Hey! As if. <laughs> Village, city, background. I don't think Chelmsford knows what it is. It's classed as a city, but it's more like a big village. Game mode, normal, expert, or sandbox. Coming soon, additional challenges. Seed capital, 200,000 euros. I should probably change all... Oh, hang on. One second. If we go to settings, let's change it to pounds and miles. This should be set based on the map you choose. Like, if you go to Australia, it should go to, like, Australian dollars and kilometers. New game. Chelmsford. Britain. Company name. What are we going to call the company? Yeah, it's weird how it didn't let me put a company name in, and it didn't make me put one in either. Squirrel Buses. We can do better than that. Human Trafficking. That would be limited, Captain Flynn. LTD. Human Trafficking LTD. Never on time limited, yeah. EV is best. <laughs> EV bus is limited. <laughs> no diesel, no coal, no diesel. You can't call yourself never late because we're always going to be late, aren't we? Surely. Time is limited. Very clever. Very clever. Do you know what? That actually, Rockview, that actually makes me wonder if somebody has called, if you go to company's house to do a search, can you find Time Is? A company called Time Is. Because you would, you would write it like that, wouldn't you? Time is limited. Hing coaches. Oh, I like that. Overcrowded buses. I like the idea of overcrowded. Underfunded. 
That's pretty much true of every bus company out there. Yeah, I know about the snow runner season pass staff, and I've seen it. We're just waiting for it to come out, probably in a few weeks. I think it's on the test server, isn't it? Underfunded buses limited. There you go. We'll go with that. Peanut pickups, lol. Railway replacement service. Right, let's go. I hope this thing's got some kind of tutorial because I've no idea what I'm doing. Game of Dolly, thank you for 14 months. Okay, weird people. It popped up at the start and said three German brothers are building this. So yeah, super small company. Your buses need too much maintenance. You can reduce it through maintenance. As if it's loaded, Chelmsford. Select the location for your depot. Oh my god. There's Chelmsford Cricket Ground. That's hilarious. That's Chelmsford Station on the bridge, if you remember. That's fantastic. What have we got over here? So hang on. That's the that's the dreaded Army and Navy roundabout right there. That's the Army and Navy roundabout. This is Chelmer Village round here. This is the uh, the shopping centre bit there and then the housing there. And the best thing, you know what the best thing is? I remember many years ago Chelmer Village being built. And over here... This is a sewerage treatment plant. See that? That's a sewerage treatment plant right there. And that's Chelma Village. So when the wind blows that way, and you live here, you get a lovely smell. <laughs> you get... I can't describe it. <laughs> but it's not pleasant. <laughs> it's even to the point where if the wind's blowing this way, and you drive up the A12, you can smell it as you drive past. So that's a reason why we decided never to buy a house here, because we're like, nah, <laughs> not having that. And I'll tell you where the best McDonald's ever is, up here. Oh, this is, wow, this is, this is literally a brand new roundabout. They've actually got this in. Uh, McDonald's is there, you see it? That's McDonald's. That's a really good McDonald's, that one. And the truck stop is here. All the trucks park up here. BP petrol station there. This is a brand new interchange that they've been building over the last 12 months. And it's one of those like high-tech newfangled things because it's so weird. You, you kind of come in and as long as you know where you want to go, it's okay. Then you've got to get in the correct lane because it will like, it will basically swing you all kinds of weird directions. But it's like super efficient junction. It doesn't show the lanes on here, but it is very clever. Why is it a good McDonald's? It just is. They always get your order right. It's super clean inside. The drive through works properly. And the food's good. It, it's As in, it's hot and stuff. And they always give you serviettes. They always give you ketchups. It, it's just one of the best. I need to send a bus route through here just so we can see what they've done with the lanes. Oh, and this over here is um, Beauty Park, the new thing. All this. Right, uh, where do we want to put our depot? We should probably put it in, in the industrial bit. This is the industrial bit here. So I reckon this used to be the Audi dealer. Can we buy around here somewhere? Yeah, we can. What's that one? Do you want to place the depot there? Yeah, we'll take over the Audi dealer. Very good. The premises are now being prepared. Okay. Okay. I can tell you that that junction looks nothing like this. The traffic lights look nothing like that. The buildings look nothing like this. How is this Chelmsford? This is nothing like Chelmsford. <laughs> I feel robbed. <laughs> it looks American. <laughs> They're even on the wrong side of the road. What's going on? Okay, what do we do? Keyboard control. Move with the WSD. We'll take the camera Q and E. Woo! Feeling dizzy yet? Blimey, that's quite smooth actually. Look at that. Whoa! That's nuts. 
set up a service center. The existing room on the premises is your service center. Equip your empty service center with at least one service desk. Place seating and decorations if you want to increase customer satisfaction. Why would we want to do that? What's in it for us? Service desk can be opened and, and closed by clicking on them. Provide at least two seating options. You can rotate objects with R before placing them. Right, I presume it means in, in here then. What's that? Inbox. Welcome to Chelmsford. We're very happy that you're taking care of our local traffic. To support you, you'll receive a subsidy of 271% on all income. You will also receive a discount on all buses, spare parts, buses, and equipment. Looking forward to a good cooperation. I like the sound of that. Build, staff, bus fleet, marketplace, bus routes, replacement parts. Okay, build, I presume. Uh, CS Fatman, thank you for 14 months. D Camel, thank you for 43. Uh, Gamer Doddy, thank you for 14. Is the bus network in Chelmsford next level? I don't know. I don't think so. It's like all the bus routes in the UK. Not many people on them. Yeah, thanks for coming. Have a bag of money and have massive subsidies. Equip the end service center at least one service desk. All right, office. Uh, see a service desk in here? Would it be under office? Service center. service desk 150 dollars 150 pounds all right uh art rotate make sure we get this the right way that looks correct we'll put it right at the back so we can hide we'll leave an extra gap in case we want to build something behind it there we go one service desk Armchairs or chairs, right, let's, um, armchair, no, can we have like a settee, a sofa type thing? Well, we need a bin, surely. I'm not having people just leaving stuff everywhere. You want a plant in the corner as well. Yeah, look at that, yeah. I'm not putting a plastic chair in here, no. You need them to be comfortable because they're going to be waiting a long time. If you give them plastic chairs, they're going to keep getting up and start nagging you. If they're comfy, they'll sit there longer. Think about it. 1,000 IQ. To give them a nice 70 quid armchair. A big black one. There you go. We'll put them over here next to the plants. You make yourself nice and cozy. Can we put a table in between? I don't see a table. Yes, I do. I do see a table. Look at that. And then an information screen so they can watch it constantly. See? It's amazing. Amazing. It looks beautiful. We'll even have a window. There's me spending all the cash on the service center. The Scotsman, thank you, 15 months. Okay. Is that what we need to build? Uh, build an office. Okay. Build a corridor. Minimum size, 5 by 3. Corridor must be accessible via at least one door. Build an office room. Minimum 6 by 4. The office must be accessible by at least one door. Place at least one standing desk in the office. Provide at least one seat. You can rotate objects. Does that have to connect to this then? I presume it does. Um, build office or well, corridor first, I guess. Build a corridor. Forty pounds per unit. Well, I guess you want you want the office like going off through here, don't you? Build a corridor. Minimum five by three. Corridor must be accessible with at least one door. Okay, so if you put a door like that. Why does that look like it's made out of glass? I 
How do I build an actual corridor? Build corridor, there we go. Must be five by three. Why does it need to be three? Wait, my door's gone. What? <laughs> I hope I got a refund on that. Oh, I'm going to lose that door as well now, aren't I? As soon as I build a um, an office, I bet you I lose that. Build an office must be minimum six by four. This is going to be dead space, isn't it? We need to have a little garden there. How much is it? 40 a unit, right? That's fine. Six by four. That feels about right. Okay, now they've, they've actually put a window here, but I'm going to have a door there as well. Don't know if you can do garden stuff. Outdoor. Here we go. Outdoor. No, nope, that's way too big. There's no flowers. There's, there's like little bushes and stuff, but... Probably not much point in having that door, to be honest. I was thinking about having like a little bench outside. How do I delete that? Placement parts, stuff, marketplace. How do I delete things? Do I just click it? You think it'd be under the build menu? Bench in the what? Street f in the what folder? Bus fleet marketplace. You hear you mean? Bus parking space. Bus wash, lifting platform, gas station, paint shop. It's not that. I thought it'd be outdoor. Hall, corridor, office, kitchen, bathroom. Hmm. Does that demolish? Aha! So it's that crane there, obviously, with a wrecking ball. Okay, let's get rid of the door. Okay, place at least one standing desk in the office. Why do they need a standing desk? We need to allow more door connections that way. Uh, office. Standing desk. Oh, I see what they mean. They mean a sit-stand desk. Okay, well, you probably want one like that. That's the wrong way around. Okay, let's get rid of that. I don't think you got... Did I get a refund on that? There you go. One like that. You can have the window desk. For whatever reason. What's behind the overlay? Oh yeah, I've got to move the overlays. Uh, there's nowhere to put the chat when that's... It's not ideal, is it? Probably punt that up there. Um, looks like I'm okay here, but I don't know where I'm going to put the chat. You could put it, like, possibly here. See how we get on with that. Might be stupid, but who uses the service center if a bus is in is in for service? Wouldn't the staff just take another bus? I don't know. I guess we'll see how it plays out, Fatman. Right. We need a office seat of some description, I guess. Window, wall, shelf. 
Place at least one seat, armchair or chair. Guess we'll go with that. That looks desperately uncomfortable. Not reachable. Wait, what? The service center is for customers to buy tickets. The chair isn't for the desk. So they literally stand at the desk. They don't sit. We don't need on-screen chats in them. Why not? Why don't we need it? Right, put the big plant in the corner. Fairy lights? What? An aquarium? What is this? I want to put the aquarium somewhere. Hey, look at that. Window. No, it doesn't work. Provide at least one seat. Okay. Um, we'll pro put the seats at the back here. We'll do that thing with we've got a table. A tinted door. Oh, I should have had a tinted door. That sounds super cool. Can we upgrade that? Scumbag. We did get money back. 885. We got 30 back, I think. So we got half the money back. So you lose half of the money if you demolish it. Pesky YouTube viewers. The thing is, Zinam, um, is on Twitch, the VODs get deleted after 60 days automatically. Like, Twitch won't let you keep them unless you convert them into, like, a video or something. You edit them down. And frankly, YouTube is a better platform for video anyway, so I'd rather archive to video. And when you do that, you don't have access to the chat down the side of it. So having it on screen is actually arguably useful. Uh, build a kitchen, minimum size, four by four. Um, a kitchen attached to the office. You should be also you should be able to suit to stream without chat and record with chat. Don't think you can, um, Giddy. Not in OBS. I don't think OBS provides you the way of having two separate overlays, which is what that is. You've got one overlay. I mean, what you'd have to do is, is say this element on screen, don't put it there on the stream, but do put it there when you're recording. And I, there is no facility to do that that I'm aware of. So if you know how to do that in OBS, please tell me. But some people like having on-screen chat in the stream because they can just go full screen and read it there you know put the kitchen where you put the tree what here i kind of i know it's a waste of space but i kind of like that bit so I'm gonna leave it. get that bus out your late blood trail i ate you skull butler skull thank you dave yeah, I quite like the garden, and it helps make the building more interesting. I did, thank you, Andy. Hi, my mum on Twitch. Uh, Freheims, 58 months, thank you. Anonymous Moose with 58, thank you very much. Uh, place the kitchen 4x4, four four. the kitchen must be accessible via at least one door. Place at least a fridge, provide at least one vending machine. See, it'd be nice to know at the moment is how many other buildings am I going to be making? I'm a little bit like, build this, build this, build this, and I can't plan ahead. Like, I'm thinking, would I want a kitchen here? 
I don't know. I'm going to put the kitchen there, but it might be a mistake. We can leave that for future development, maybe. Kitchen. I presume it's going to say bathroom next. I could probably guess. So we have a kitchen and a bathroom. We'll see. Build kitchen. What did it want? Four by four. Eight by four is more than enough. We have to get rid of a, a picture though. We could put it down in the corner, I suppose. Let's do that. Kitchen counter, fridge, okay. Put the fridge it's not against this back wall. Put the fridge, is that? It's really hard to see the rotation on that, but that looks correct. Kitchen is for staff, you can put it in just the office, which is what I've done, because I'm assuming it is. You don't really want customers walking into the kitchen, do you? Making themselves a sandwich. Uh, let's put counter, counter sink and another kitchen counter um, a dresser I'm not really sure why you need that but it's different um, provide at least one vending machine Okay. Trash can. Let's put that there. Kitchen counter. Let's see. Where's the vending machine? There it is. 550. Do you know what? I'm going to put the bin there. There you go. What a surprise. It wants us to build a bathroom. I'm going to have to get rid of that window, I think. Um, yeah. We'll get rid of that window and we'll put it here instead. No. Okay, we'll put it here then. I don't want a window into the bathroom from the kitchen. That would be a bit creepy. No table in the kitchen. They've got counter space. Why do you need a table? Aussie train man, thank you for 18 months. Right. Bathroom. Needs to be three by three. Right, we definitely want a tinted door on this one. See, I mm, I don't think you'd want a door going straight into the bathroom. I kind of feel like you'd want a corridor with a double door. Like all the smells just waft out into the office, you know? There's always somebody who goes in there who's, uh, who's got rotten guts. You don't really want that coming into the, the office, do you? Not really. Yeah, a bit like an airlock. <laughs> exactly that. So maybe we should sacrifice the room size a bit. How do we um, delete the room? <laughs> In all seriousness, how do we delete the room? There we go. Oh, please don't trash everything else. Whew. Okay. That actually worked. I'm surprised. Corridor hall. No, we don't need a hall. Corridor. So we just have like a little connection like that with a airlock door can I tilt the camera there you go that'll do Six by four, that should be enough, shouldn't it? Hopefully. Uh, Do buses and trains run on time? No, they don't. Buses run on wheels, while trains move along tracks. 
Or even better, what will you find on an electric bus? A conductor. Thank you for that, Uplogator. <laughs> Trucker Bell, thank you for two years. Two years under your lordship. May there be many more to come. Love the long, uh, lo lo long love the squirrel. <laughs> thank you, Trucker Bill. Buccaneer down, thanks, 55. Right, so double tinted doors, see? Bit of extra privacy as well. And then what do we need to build? At least one toilet. Um, cubicles? Are they a thing in this game? Privacy? Or do we just have everybody lining up, talking to each other? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do uh, modern thinking, line up toilets, why not? You can all hold hands and sing. Um, I'm wondering why there's no sinks here. Oh, there we go. Bathroom sink. Okay, we have got a bathroom sink. That's good. Um, let's see. For this many toilets, you probably want two sinks like that. And then maybe a bin. Nope, no bin. Okay, so people clearly don't, you know... No hand dryer, no bin. Interesting. Interesting bathroom. <laughs> it's a it's it's a unisex shared experience toilet. It's it's the way that you have it. You don't dry your hands, you don't need paper towels, you don't have a bin. You use a kitchen bin. You probably won't be able to put that in though. See, because it's a different room type. You can put it in there. You can put it in here. But you can't put it in here. So you can put a kitchen bin in the office. And you can put it in here. And I think that's because a kitchen has a bin object. Yeah. There's an electric hand dryer. Did I miss that? Bathroom. What? Door, sink, lights, plants. Where's the electric hand dryer? Oh, you mean it's built into the... Oh, I see what you're saying. It's, it's built into the thing, yeah. It is. There's still no bin, though, but never mind. Uh, Buccaneer Dent. Thank you, sir. Are we running buses? Yeah, we're building our offices first. Right, your first buses. Build at least one more piece of road. Wait, don't the council do that? Build one more piece of road. What are you talking about? Does it mean this? Okay. Build at least one more piece of road. Place two buses on your premises. A bus space must be connected to the street. Buy two buses if necessary. Buy more at any time and place a suitable parking space for each bus. Okay, which section does that come under? Build, staff, bus fleet, marketplace... Blimey. Blimey. Well, outdoor just has a bunch of trees. And street just has parking spaces, gas stations, lifting platforms, and a paint shop. I don't know where the actual road is. Unless it's just Bill Street. Maybe it's that. It's just, why is he calling it a street, though? He should say build road. A street is this with the pavement and everything. Okay, let's go. Let's go that way. How much are these costing? One hundred and eighty. That's fine. Um, gas station seven thousand four hundred. So you can't use that bit. Does that mean you can put trees there? Yeah, it does. How pleasant. Right, parking space large. Okay, build street. I 
kind of want to leave space for future building expansion, so let's do it up here for now. Park is very small, medium, and large. Uh, medium? Oh, I see how this works. You, this has to go on the green stuff. It can't go on the on the street bit. Didn't expect that. Streets and roads are the same to you. Street is normally associated... It's a, it's a subtle distinction, I think. Streets are normally associated with pavements and lighting as well whereas a road is just it can just be a tr uh, like a piece of tarmac or even a dirt road like if you had a dirt road you'd never call that a street put it that way but you could call a street a road it's like the difference between an animal and a dog i guess a dog is a specific animal ish right let's put that there okay have we done everything we need buy two buses Bus fleet. You don't have any buses. Marketplace. Right. Okay. 3,900, 6,100. It doesn't tell you what size these are. I presume that's a large. That's probably a medium. And they're probably small, aren't they? Second hand. Oh, yeah. Let's go second hand. Sales offers. <laughs> That is the dodgiest thing. Look how bad that is. I'm not buying the big one. We're going to start, you know, on the basis that we're probably going to lose money. So let's not waste it. For seven grand for a second hand 55 passenger bus. It's only 11 for a new one. The heck? So that's ten and a half grand. It can carry 55 passengers, 40 seats. So it's basically one of them. Except it's in half condition and costs 10.5 instead of 11.2. Is it me or are these prices a bit weird? It's got a broken V belt. We don't have any servicing facilities right now. That's the thing. But how much does a V-belt cost? Because I'm not being funny. That's only discounted by £700. Look at the price sliders. Oh, you can send an offer. <laughs> you can send an offer. <laughs> Hang on. Replacement parts. V-belt. £29. But then you need to have a service centre, I presume, and somebody to fix it. You probably need staff. We haven't got all of that yet. So maybe what we do for now is just buy... Buy a new one, maybe. We don't have anywhere to fix it, do we? So if we can't jack it up and sort it out, we can't fix it. I think we just start something small and see what happens. 20, 29 packs. I mean, 19 packs. Let's do that. Let's just do that. Buy one of them. Oh, don't tell me you can do. Oh, my God. Load, save, roof color. Oh, boy. Can you import import decal? <gasps> what is this? You can actually import. Look at this. What does it import? An image? A JPEG? Wait, that's that. Mm. Oh, rubber duck. That means I could find my squirrel logo, couldn't I? Where have I put it? One second. I need to find out where my squirrel logo is. Exactly. Well, I'm going to get my squirrel logo from somewhere. Um, one second. Where would it be? Cloud.
What would it want? Be better with a black logo or a white logo, do you think? I suppose it, oh, I'll bring them both in, I guess. Don't know what size it wants, though. If I take the thousand by thousand logo, that should be fine, shouldn't it? Well, I'll just import them both. Um, I just need to gather them. Thousand by thousand. Just them. Import that. Did it work? It's got it. I've imported the other one. Is that the import? There you go. Hey! <laughs> Wicked. So you can just make your own logo up. Thank you for 78 months, Henry. The trouble is if you put it on the roof, nobody actually sees it. Right, roof colour, bus colour. What do we want for our bus colour? Pink. <laughs> Obviously. What am I getting the squirrel text from your obvious overload? What squirrel text? Oh, I could get I could get that. What you mean the green one? Um, I'd have to dig around and find it. Hang on. I could bring in that one, that one, that one, and that one. Or is it under here? There you go. Import. So we could bring that one in. We could bring that one in. We could bring that one in. And we could bring that one in. There you go. So we've got options. Black bus with a yellow logo. <laughs> Keep it simple. So you go bus color black, roof color black. And then you put this down the side like that, maybe. Can you scale this? Can you scale? There we go, size. So we put like that. that and then you put like a smaller one in the front it's really like it won't let me bring the camera in properly it's weird and then we put that on top um, rotate I literally can't like I can't the cap the camera will only do this I can't look on top But hey, that'll do. Why are you? There we go. What was that? Roof color, bus color. You save that. Uh, squirrel. Y on B. Yellow on black. Steam Workshop Upload. Please enter name and description. Um, yellow on black. Squirrel. Logo. And then 
No, no, no. We've got to put the cheesy thing in. Don't forget to like, <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> Save, upload. Because everybody does that. Don't forget to smash that like button, guys. Upload Urfugrike. You what? Does that mean failed? What, what does that mean? Does anybody speak German? What does that mean? I'm going to save it locally as well, just in case. Upload done. It works. Okay. Apply. Buy two buses. Right, I need to buy another one. Hey! That's hilarious. Look at that. Nice reversing skills, bro. Nice reversing skills. Was that a sprinter or... That was a master, wasn't it? Buy one of them. Load. Load. Browse Steam Workshop. Let's just see if it uploaded. I can't see it. I can't see it in the list. Let me try searching for squirrel. It's not it's not there. I don't see it. I don't think it's uploaded properly yet, maybe. Oh, wait, no, it's found it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Fly template. Get in. That reversing is so strange. Like, his back wheels slide on the turn. Okay. Higher staff. Place six lockers uh, in the corridor or in a hall. Now we know why he wanted a corridor. Six lockers. Right. Build. Corridor. Locker. One. Two. God, it makes it feel claustrophobic. It's annoying that I need to put six down because I kind of would love to leave it like that. Ugh. Burns. Six. Hi, two bus drivers. Right, staff. Bus drivers. Put one down, then delete it. You reckon? You reckon we get away with that? Uh, right. Friendliness. Oh, you be perfect here, mate. Every bus driver has got to be super grumpy. Hang on. Low friendliness, low reliability. That's Alex. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> oh. why are they different rates what I want to know is why is this guy more expensive than this one and he's more reliable and more friendly or she maybe I don't know that, I don't quite understand that uh, Martin thank you for 7 months I think you need one locker for each staff member so you won't be able to lose it. I think you're probably right. Because we need to hire, what, one, two, three, four. No, hang on. We only need five people. So why do we need six lockers? Seems to be no relation between the price and... Hang on. So this guy here is friendly and reliable. Trainee and a novice. Novice must be better. So can we, like, make him a lower offer? Two drivers. Oh, we need two drivers. Oh, yeah, two drivers. 14 20 an hour. See, that's quite... How about 13 20 What do you think about that, mate? Yeah. Yeah, we got a pound an hour less, you see? You know, he knows we've got a fantastic environment. 
Now, I don't like your friend in this, Angela. Angel Angelia. Is that even a name? I wonder how often these refresh. What does that do? Uh, what? What? That's people we've already hired, right? Okay. Oh, he's running. He's walking around. Look. There he is. Right. I reckon you, but I think we can probably get you for like twelve ninety. Yeah. Can't you rename them? I hope you can. Right, we need to hire a mechanic. Now, a mechanic doesn't need to be friendly. He just needs to be super reliable and good at his job. So, somebody like this, but maybe for like less than £11 would be lovely. Oh, look at his friendliest. Look at that. Like, literally, how much you pay him affects his friendliness. How bizarre. So we can get you for ten pounds. Yeah, now we're talking. What do we need? A researcher. Again, don't care about. Let's just min you out. I don't care about you being friendly, really. You're a researcher. You're not customer facing. Rejected your offer? No. No, don't reject my offer. Thank God. Get you for ten ninety. No, no, stop. You can't be like okay, super un, super unfriendly, most hateful person in the world. Ten pound forty. You'll be fired soon. As soon as we can replace you, right? A cleaner. Do you want a really friendly cleaner or a really reliable cleaner? I don't mind a grumpy cleaner. I can get you for like eleven eighty. Yeah. And then finally, a service employee. Service employees. This is customer service, presumably. So you want super friendly. I heard that. Somebody went to the bathroom then. Yeah, £12. Yeah. We're talking, right. Okay. Dude, you don't eat directly from the fridge, you animal. What is wrong with you? Oh my god. Prepare your food and sit down somewhere. I think we need more chairs in here. Staff. No, not staff. Office. Let's make sure we've got places to sit. That's better. You'll all be given jobs to do in a minute. Let's pause it a second. To be honest, I do that sometimes. <laughs> Connor. That'll be an animal. Build a gas station. The gas station must be connected to the street. Remember to refuel your bu buses regularly. Why do I have to do that? The bus driver can do that. Street. Gas station. Okay, wish I'd have known the size of that beforehand, but never mind. Well, this is awkward. I kind of want the gas station here. What if we delete that? And then put the gas station. No, ro rotate that way. Now, why do you want to be side on all the time? Because you need access to a road. Right, you go away. Gas station. So you would connect like that. Okay, so if I build a block like that, then you'll connect that way. There we go. Yeah, it's it, it. It's it. You just have to get used to the mechanics of it, I guess. Um, build a street. 
parking space. I may as well just build a large space now. There you go. I'll do. Right, can my buses come back now? Oh, don't tell me they'll only park on the... I bet you they'll only park on the, the correct size. Or is it because I've got it unpaused? Actually, hang on, hang on. We need to find out. I, I paused it, that's why. Let's see if they'll park on a large bay. No, he won't. He won't park on a large... Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Okay, that's fine. Right, place a bus wash. Must be connected to the street. Wash dirty buses in the wash to improve customer satisfaction. Okay. A large wash is 9,500. Which is like 1,800 more than that one. How can I get you? Ah, oh, this is awkward. So that's not really a drive-through, is it? That's like a drive-in. And then reverse out. I was expecting a drive-through. Place a lifting platform. A lifting platform must be connected to the street. With the workshop, you can repair and maintain the buses as needed. Note, you must always have the appropriate replacement parts in stock. Okay. So you want a lifting platform. I presume a big can lift a small. Um. What? I'm confused by this object. I can put it here? Okay, that's weird. That's not what I expected to appear when I clicked that, but whatever. But it wants a standard one. It wants a standard lifting platform. You don't want double roads. Well, I was thinking I'd have parking spaces all down here. I ain't got double roads. The big one not left a small. Meh. Um. Um. Hang on. Lifting platform. Standard. Okay, so the service technician's gone down there now. Build a warehouse, minimum 4x4. Four four. Does the warehouse need to be connected? The warehouse must be accessible via at least one door. Place the package shelf in the warehouse. Do I need to connect this to the office, do you think? Like, does it need to be connected to this building in any way? Uh, Maxwell, thank you for 83 months. Seven, si 76, thank you for 18. It's a lifting platform. I don't know. This is the problem. It's like, it doesn't really tell me. Do I, Like, if your staff want to get there or you want to get parts, like, how does it need to connect? Do I just build it off the back and connect it? You need to put it near the pit. Snake the single road. What does that mean? Snake the road. Snake the road single road to save space. I don't know what that means. Because I can't build another street back here now
No idea if that's useful or not. No idea. Your first bus route. Open up the map, click on the map in the upper right-hand corner, and plan your first bus route. It is best to start with a central bus route with 10 to 15 bus stops. Okay, can we save this? Um, um, staff will walk outside. Good. Click on the map in the upper right corner. Right, well, central for Chelmsford is basically here. 10 to 15 bus stops, blimey. Like, okay, so you probably want to go through Chelmer Village and then take people into, into town, something like that. Is what you want to do. How do I add a stop? Bus routes, bus stops, buses. Bus stops, you do not have any bus stops. Create a route to place bus stops. Okay, bus routes, new route. What? They've come up with their own bus routing. Club Tantalize. <laughs> Riddle. 88 tours per week at 73 each. Sandon? Wait, Riddle is like a... Rittle is a town on the west of Chelmsford, though. So there's like a bus route that goes to Rittle. What would that look like? Connected to Rittle. Doesn't show me the stops, though, does it? New route. Create a bus route according to your own ideas. The more passengers use your route, the more money you'll earn through ticket revenue or public service line. Create a bus route with specific requirements for a client. The revenue from ticket sales will go entirely to the client. You receive a lump sum payment per completed tour. Wait, what? A lump sum payment? Uh, there is a college in Rittle. Um, the college is... Let me get my bearings. Right, uh, that's the college. Rutland University College, there you go. There's also, a, um, in Chelmsford, there's a university. Let me think, train station's here, the, the, so it's here somewhere. There you go, Anglia Ruskin University campus. So there's a uni there as well. Maybe we should swing past that, I don't know. New route, own bus route. It's a real map. It literally pulled a map of Chelmsford. It pulled a map of Chelmsford. I don't know where it's got the bus stops from, but it, yes, it pulled a map of Chelmsford. That is a real map. It is mad. You'll be paid weekly amount for running that route for them. You want to create your own route for now, I think. Okay. Your brother's house is in Great Baddow. Well, Great Baddow is... Oh, God. Um, again, I've got to get my bearings. Here, I think. I see Army and Navy. Oh, hang on. Baddow's... There's Sandon. I think Baddow's this bit. I think. Right, let's... Um, if we create a stop, train line's a good reference point. We definitely want to go then from here, which is the Anglia Ruskin University. And from there, we probably want to go to the train station. That's this coach stop. Duke Street, this this is the main bus thing. This here is actually a massive bus station. So that, this is a hub. Yeah, right next to the train station. We definitely want to come here. It's just how we get there. What if we go via Riverside Ice and Leisure in case the students want to, um, you know, go go ice skating, get some exercise, who knows? And then we could come through Springfield, 10 to 15 bus stops, blimey. That seems like a lot. So 
way do we want to go? Let's go Chelmer Village way. So Riverside Iceland Leisure, we cross over. We come to That, by the way, is the HM prison. Should we send let's let's stop there. Chelmsford prison. Yeah. Let's send the students to the prison. <laughs> send them that way. Most stop at Greg's. We need to find a Greg's for him, don't we? Uh, Kingston, what's that? Sandon Road. They probably want to come down here for some, some shopping. But we could stop at that one first. And then we could stop here in case they want to do some shopping. How do we loop them back? That's the question. Ooh, it turns around if you want to. Nice. We could go deeper in. The problem is if you go into Chelmer Village, you probably need to go through that loop road there. Unless you go all the way in, but that's going a different route, I think. We kind of want to come back to the station, don't we? Uh, do you see this map in 3D? I don't know, Yorkie. I've never played the game. Um, just trying to think. I want to stay away from this. Army and Navy is a bit of a pain as well. Let's take them up through the middle of Chelmer Village like that. No, no game. Why Why would you do that? Why would you do this? That means that's on the other side of the road. It must do. Fox and Raven is on the other side of the road. I see what you're doing. Okay, yeah. So the Fox and Raven is here, which is a pub. And it's actually on the other side. So we can't stop there. Maybe we should stop. Hang on, let's delete that. Let's stop here instead. And then we'll drive up through here and stop there. There we go. There's a Costco. Uh, there is a Costco. Also, there's a little. I think that's a little. Aldi. There's an Aldi there. It's weird playing a game where you actually have local map knowledge. <laughs> Um, right, we can go past the depot, maybe, or we could loop back that way. So what we could do is go that way, and then we can come through. Any students doing any work, maybe? Um, that's on the other side, so we'd have to come back down Pump Lane. And then we come down here. How many stops have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do we need to end where we start, I presume? Do we need to fully loop? Your depot is actually Chelmsford Tool Station. Ah, my depot used to be Chelmsford Audi. That used to be Chelmsford Audi, if you remember. And and Chelmsford Audi moved to here, which used to be Wix, but Wix moved out of Chelmsford completely, and Audi bought this and redid it. And now Audi's on that roundabout there, and that's Vauxhall. Vauxhall Garage is here. That's a big B&Q. And the Tesla dealer, if you want to know where that is, that is here. That's Tesla, and that's Mercedes-Benz. And that's Sainsbury's. <laughs> it's, it's just mad. Right. So if we come down here, this is a big Tesco, so our students might want to go there. So maybe we'll not stop there. Instead, we'll stop at Tesco. And then we need to bring them into town. Tesla drivers don't actually know how to drive. Okay. BMW drivers don't know how to indicate. There, there's another sweeping generalization for you. Roadwolf, thank you for 84, 85 months. £3.40 meal deal. That used to be less. Um, I don't, do we want to bring them through? I'm trying to think of the layout. You can't go that way. You have to loop back this way. That's on the wrong side of the road. 
See, this is a weird part of Chelmsford, this one-way bit. And Audi drivers don't know how to keep a safe distance. <laughs> Soon there'll be a generation that's never driven a manual. It's inevitable, Bigfoot. The only reason you need gears is because your engine speed differs from your wheel speed. Once, you, once you've solved that problem, you don't need gears. Larry, good afternoon. When McDonald's cheeseburgers were 99 pence and Tesco meals were three pounds. Yep. I used to get a meal deal from Boots every day when I used to work in London. And it was the three pound meal deal. Yeah, I don't think we want to come this way because it's not going to work for us. Which means if we're coming to Tesco, it's going to be a bit of a pain. We might be better going back down that road. We might be better coming past Riverside in... YMCA students want to go to the YMCA but they might want to go to the yeah let's go to the YMCA and then they can go to Chelmsford bus station and then we can loop them back from there effectively we can take them like that way out and then back to the university hey there you go what a what a tour that is I don't know what you'd call it. <laughs> what would what? Gear heads? You mean petrol heads? I don't know. Electric heads? Who knows? Merc drivers are nuts. Lol. EV heads, yeah. The Austin Allegro was just an awful car, to be fair. Right, let's go with... So this is Chelmsford Town Centre going out. A little bit of Chelmsford Village. So we'll call it the... Chelmsford... It's kind of West Chelmsford. We'll call it the... West Chelmsford... 55. <laughs> For no reason. Okay, what do we click now? color I mean whatever whatever color you choose you can't see it anyway so let's go with that one <laughs> 